The front seven that sacked Rodgers and Mahomes a combined eight times in the playoffs. Three of them are open to sign, including Shaq Barrett, who played on the franchise tag last year. Offensively, big-time wideouts Antonio Brown, Chris Godwin, and, of course, Brady's best friend Rob Gronkowski are all in need of new contracts. So, last week, when his internet was better, Jeff Darlington floated this idea here on Get Up. These guys... Uh, have been close for a number of years and have uh, expressed to each other the desire and eventual wish to play together. But look, the question is, when it really comes down to it, is Chris Godwin going to take perhaps less money if they're not willing to give him upwards of $20 million? If those things go down, I could certainly see them pursuing a guy like Odell Beckham Jr., who I guarantee you Tom Brady would love to be throwing passes to. So Jeff said that last week. Then Jake Trotter, who covers the Browns for us at NFL Nation, posted this over the weekend talking about players that might need a change of scenery. And he mentioned OBJ, saying he's shown he still has tremendous talent, but with the Browns thriving without him offensively uh, down the stretch, it might make sense for both him and the team to find a trade at some point down the line. So, Marcus, let me come to you on this here. My LSU guy, as, as, as Odell is, I know you know him well and all of that. And, and it is not a criticism to say that it might just not be a good fit with him and the Cleveland Browns, and it might be a great fit with him and Tom Brady in Tampa. How do you like it? I like it a lot, G. And, and, and let me tell you, it's two reasons I like it. One, I think he needs to get out of Cleveland. I think Cleveland has proven that they want to thrive in, in a more wholesome um, offensive setting where everybody's involved. We saw them have a lot of success, and people talked about Baker is better without OBJ, his numbers and all of that. But I think this offense opened up more with Stefanski and Baker and allowing other guys to get involved. So that's the Cleveland part. The Tampa part is this. OBJ with Tom Brady, you kidding me, and Mike Evans? And, and I think OBJ needs this at this point of his career. He needs to be paired with a Tom Brady or a Deshaun Watson or someone like that. Think about think about Tom Brady. Now, let, let's put this in perspective. Tom Brady, New England went out and got Randy Moss. They went and got Ocho Cinco. They went, they've been doing this. Tom Brady is used to bringing in high-level, high-skilled talent wide receivers and having success with them. Ocho Cinco didn't work out that well, yeah. but we saw what he did with Randy. My point being, if you put OBJ in this environment, in this setting, with a veteran quarterback that he's going to learn from, we saw Leonard Fournette game step up. We saw Grunk come back off retirement and have a lot of success. We saw Godwin have a really good season. Mike Evans had a re everybody's involved, and I think 12 does that for people. OBJ would be well-suited in Tampa. And maybe Godwin for OBJ? That, that's, the Godwin is a free agent, so one of the pieces in this is 24-year-old Chris yeah, Godwin yeah. might get a fortune of money someplace, and if he goes, OBJ slides in. It might be a really nice fit. Jeff Saturday, what do you think? Yeah, listen, Tom Brady is the wide receiver whisperer, right? I mean, and Swagoo just made reference to how many guys they have brought in and what he's done for wide receiver careers. And here's what he does best. Think about Antonio Brown coming in and the way that he brought him into the fold midway through the season this year and how it didn't upset the apple cart, right? That thing kept smooth sailing. If Godwin decides to leave and move on, OBJ, the demands that Brady puts on his teammates because of the success and credibility that he has in the the locker room everybody just finds fit right they understand their role and they become the role players that teams can use best OBJ would be that type of receiver for him you bring him in hey here's a role you're going to play Antonio Brown's got this Mike Evans has this Gronk has this right I mean just keep placing them down the line you saw the way Fournette found form in Tampa Bay as the year progressed that's the greatest part about having Tom Brady is it's not an emergency you'll watch them, them progress and get better as the season goes on yeah. and, and, and he just rides the wave as they get there as they get closer and closer to the playoffs and potentially Super Bowl I think it's a fantastic fit for him and I think it would serve his career that being OBJ so well to get under a guy like Tom Brady for the yep. leadership that he presents thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content subscribe to ESPN plus